What's going on, Fresh? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we're playing American Truck Simulator. And this time around, we're going to be delivering Volvo cars. 20 pounds worth of Volvo cars. Can't really see too, too much right now. It's uh, still early, almost 4 o'clock in the morning. But, uh, you know, we're going to be arriving at our destination at about 11 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, we're going to catch plenty of daylight today. So, yeah, I'm really excited about today's episode. Let me go ahead and start up this truck. I'll tell you where we're leaving, where we're going to, what we're driving. You guys know the drill. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. Engine braking. Hazard lights. Test the uh, air horn. It's whatever. I got my cup of coffee right over here because it's early in the morning. And I think we are ready to go. Here we go, guys. Let the journey begin. We are leaving the Volvo dealership. And I'm thinking we're transporting all of these vehicles to another Volvo dealership. That's what I'm thinking, at least. Can we fit through here? I think this is the only way out, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Guys, next episode is going to be really exciting. We're going to be buying our first truck. That's right. You heard me right. You heard me correct, guys. But it's only because I feel like I've driven a lot of trucks. Just wanted to hear the Drake breaking here. All right, here we go. We are ready to hit the road. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the future episodes. So, yeah, I'm gonna be buying our own truck. So I'm really pumped about that. I feel like I've driven a lot of trucks so far, and I kind of have an idea of what we're gonna buy. But essentially, uh, what we're driving right now is a Western Star. 48, 48 inch sleeper so I kind of wanted to drive the Western Star before I kind of like you know committed to buying one truck versus another I believe I've driven every single truck in the game except for the the Mac trucks and I do have that DLC I know you need the DLC I have pretty much every single DLC that's kind of available so, yeah, I just haven't had a chance to drive them. And they do look really futuristic, a little... They kind of remind me of Volvo trucks a little bit from, like, the looks perspective. Which I have driven as well. How many speeds does this truck... This truck has 13 speeds. Um, so, yeah, we're driving the Western Star 48-inch sleeper with 450 horsepower and a 13 speed manual transmission it's one speed over than what i want i want either a 10 or a 12 <laughs> just because it's a little bit easier to control it uh, with um, this gearbox here but we are leaving st george utah and uh we are heading to montrose colorado that's right, guys. This is going to be our very first trip to Colorado. We are going to be taking uh, 15 North towards Salt Lake City. And, uh, yeah. First trip to Colorado. And I know it's, uh, it's a little dark right now, but like I said, by the time we get to Colorado, there's going to be plenty of daylight. And you guys will enjoy the views. I think Colorado is really... It has to be one of the better looking states in the game. Just from a personal experience driving through Colorado in real life. I love the mountains, the snow, the scenery. Uh, <laughs> funny story actually. When I was driving through uh, Colorado... I had my Lexus IS250 that was really modded, 
and it looked really good. I mean, I'm a little bit biased because it's my vehicle and I customized it, but it had like a lip kit, it was lower than coilovers, it, um, it just looked awesome. It had nice 19 inch wheels that were like really flush with the fenders. And uh, I love that thing. Dude, that guy's flying. Or maybe I'm just going too slow. Oh my gosh, everybody's passing me. <laughs> anyway, uh, we were driving through Colorado and all of a sudden uh, there was a crazy hailstorm. Out of nowhere, the sky turned green hail was coming down there was a biker we were driving on the highway but there was a biker riding next to me and he was literally just smacked with these uh, golf balls essentially and uh, yeah we all just kind of rushed to find some shelter <laughs> there, were, there was nowhere to hide you were literally like in the middle of nowhere so we ended up uh, just you know getting a, a, a spot underneath one of the bridges and it was packed it was like a parking lot full of cars essentially we just made it took like the last portion of whatever space was available but either way my vehicle was destroyed essentially you, you, you guys imagine like a bunch of golf balls just smacking into your vehicle and um, turns out there was a tornado nearby so, yeah, <laughs> after the hail stopped, we went to like the closest gas station to get some gas and like assess the damage and everything, and um, <laughs> some lady, some lady approaches me, okay, with my car, my Lexus, right, that looks like a show car, basically. And she goes to me, are you a, 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 a storm watcher or a storm chaser? And I'm like looking at my car and it's like thinking to myself, you really think I'm going to be storm chasing in my show car? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I'm like, no, I am not a storm chaser. <laughs> That was just crazy. But yeah, the vehicle was kind of destroyed. Uh, we ended up fixing it through insurance afterwards. It looked awesome. Got a brand new paint job, everything. It, it looked amazing. I couldn't be happier. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's my experience with Colorado. The, <laughs> the hail storm, the tornado. And uh, just driving through the mountains when, when the weather was peaceful. And that was really cool. It was like in the summer, it was June, and there was a lot of snow. A lot of snow, yeah, obviously, driving through the mountains. And I was like, dude, that's so weird. I remember uh, parking at a rest stop over there just because I wanted to, like, kind of admire the view and everything. I get out, but mind you, it's June, middle of summer, and um, everywhere else was like, I don't know, it's like 70, 80 degrees. I get out of my car, it's like 30 something degrees, freezing cold. I was like, what? <laughs> it was just a weird experience for the summer months, essentially. But yeah, we were doing the cross country trip with my friends, so that was uh, that was a lot of fun. But here we go. What time is it now? Five o'clock in the morning. You guys can see it's becoming a little brighter. Maybe we'll catch the sunrise. I don't know where that's gonna be. On this side, this side, this that side. I, I don't know. Oh, we got some road work ahead. See what that's all about. Probably gonna have to merge. Maybe not. But yeah, I wanted to drive the Western Star truck because I think that that was like one of those trucks that I was kind of missing. Haven't really driven. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna merge into the fast lane. We're gonna smoke all, dude, and 
you have to do this now and like hit the brakes bro if this is in the 80 mile an hour zone by the way oh crap 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 I actually do need to take this exit <laughs> right I think so oh my gosh all right well so much for paying attention exit 132 Ah, I'm gonna miss the 80 mile an hour speed limit. Maybe this one's gonna be 80 as well. Alright, let's march here. We're good. Dude, the sunrise is right in front of us. So, yeah guys. This is gonna be epic. Alright, let me take a look at these. These are supposed to be Volvo cars. I don't think they are Volvo cars. Those are like Ford trucks, I'm thinking. Yeah. Maybe those were like trade in vehicles that Volvo is going to be selling now. All right, let me see if we can actually hit 80 miles an hour. We have about five hours left to go. And I believe we're still in Utah. So. I'm really excited to see Colorado for the first time in the game. Dude, we're doing 77 miles an hour. We might get a citation in today's video, okay? Let me just tell you, we're going downhill. 85 miles an hour now. I wanna see how fast this truck can go. Can I hit 90? Watch me flip the trailer. 88. Ah, we're going uphill now. <laughs> Oh, dude, 88. I think this is the fastest I've gone in this game. 88 miles an hour. Setting new milestones all the time. This is great. Got a little fire truck, or a big fire truck that I just smoked. Let me take a look at the view here. Whoop. Dude, that looks sick. Those mountains over there? Amazing. Yeah, we're definitely losing our steam over here. Going the 80 miles an hour. Alright. This delivery is going to pay us about $14,000. We're not making a crazy amount of money. Um, but... We do already have over 300,000, right? So after this, we're gonna have like $320,000, which should be more than enough to purchase our first truck. Okay, what's what's happening here? Oh, bro, 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 okay. All right. Oh my gosh, bro. I understand slowing down, but, dude, okay, we got a collision here. Yep. I mean, I understand slowing down, but like slamming your brakes on the highway is just not a good idea. We just went from 80 to like 20 in a matter of seconds, but enough about that. Dude, look at the, these mountains. These views are absolutely insane. I'm really not a fan of playing this view because yeah, like I said before it feels like disconnected from the gameplay experience but look at this site yep this is amazing Woo! getting smoked oh my gosh bro these mountains <laughs> that's insane that is insane I don't see too, too much snow. Maybe we haven't reached like the really high elevation. Or maybe there is just no snow. Maybe it's like melted all the snow. I don't know. But like I told you guys, I drove through Colorado. I don't remember which part, but I think it was really, like, the elevation was really high. 
because you could even feel like your car was not accelerating like it normally would. So it was getting less oxygen. And because of that, it was making a lot less power. So, yeah, there was a lot of snow. Oh gosh, 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 gosh. What is happening here? Okay. Come on. You can, oh my gosh, can we? This truck just stopped. It's got the hazard lights on. Are you merging? Here we go. Pet barn. Jeez. I'm telling you guys, some AI, they just don't know how to merge. They'll just stop. All right, we got another accident or something here. Wow. Whew. Yep. Look at this, though. Yeah. The views here are awesome. What do you guys like better? Do you guys like the scenery, like with the mountains, the views or do you guys like driving through downtown let me know in the comment section down below curious to you uh, hear your thoughts I myself I don't know I kind of like the balance of the two I like the fact that you can drive through downtown and oh, oh my gosh <laughs> yeah I like the fact that you can drive through downtown and small little villages and at the same time witness these views with the mountains and the landscape here is just amazing here we go this is another 80 mile an hour speed limit zone a little whoa, 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 whoa. wow that truck was just stopped there Almost made it to the rest stop. <laughs> All right, I think our exit is actually coming up. So, or is that an exit? Or does the road just? Okay, um, I'm gonna move over. I don't know what is happening here. Literally, the truck was just stopped, and everybody else is just stopping. I just don't get people here. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I'm enjoying these views, that's for sure. I don't know if we're in Colorado yet. Oh, is that a runaway truck entrance to the right? Yeah, the runaway truck ramp. Basically, if your uh, brakes fail, this is what you do. Because otherwise, you're only going to like gain a lot of speed and eventually end up crashing and potentially killing somebody. There was just a case, um, a lawsuit, or was it a lawsuit or a court case, where um, a truck driver was sentenced to like a hundred years in prison because he missed the, uh, the runaway truck ramp when his brakes failed. I think his truck reached like 90 miles an hour and he ended up like killing four or five people. It's crazy. Very sad for everybody involved. Now I'm not a truck driver myself, but I think if it's like a, a truck with a manual transmission, like you should be able to downshift, right? Uh, and that should technically slow you down. I would think, but I don't know. But then, of course, like, if you need to stop, like, immediately, like, on a dime, you're not going to be able to downshift, like, <laughs> and make your tru the truck stop instantly. I mean, it's not how it works, but I feel like if your brakes start failing, you should be able to start, like, slowing down. I have a feeling we're still in Utah. I kind of have that feeling. We're gonna shift over. Oh, school bus. Another one.
Yeah, I think we should. Oh, maybe we should be in Colorado. I mean, there's only two hours left to drive. And I know the last portion of the drive, the last maybe 20, 30% of the drive should be in Colorado. So honestly, if I were to guess, we are in Colorado right now. Obviously, we're not deep into Colorado. We're kind of by the border. But it's still good. Very pretty. I wanted to I want to discover obviously all of these states, but I do want to discover more of Colorado because uh, the views should be insane in some parts of Colorado. Like I like driving by the mountains back there. Like you can see that they carved into them just to make this highway possible. Uh, but that was just really cool. All right, here we go, guys. Top speed run. We're going slightly downhill. 82 miles an hour. Here we go. 85. <laughs> if you guys play this game, let me know in the comment section down below what was the fastest you were able to do with your truck. Welcome to Colorful Colorado. Did you guys see the sign? We literally just entered Colorado. We were in Utah this whole time. We have about an hour and 19 minutes left to go. Oh, we may need to take this wait station. Yep, 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 yep. I knew it. I just, I, you know what? I knew it. Good thing I slowed down. Let's take guesses. I, I think I told you guys that we have 20 pounds worth of cars. This time, I'm gonna guess that the truck, the trailer, and everything else weighs about 58,000 pounds. That's gonna be my guess. Leave your guesses in the comment section down below. And let's check it out. Wow, close, 50,000 pounds. Wow. Not bad. I'm getting better at this. So the truck and trailer is about 30,000 pounds. Hmm. And those, what do we have? Like three? I think it's three trucks. Yeah. We're carrying three trucks. Hold on. I think we have to stop over here. Hmm. Yeah, so the three trucks weigh about 20,000 pounds. Those are kind of heavy. All right, and then we have to go back to 70 East. Those are heavy trucks, almost 7,000 pounds each. Maybe that's normal for a truck. Like a pickup truck I'm talking about. All right, so let's enjoy Colorado. I know we just entered. We have about an hour left to go here. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we won't see like the highest elevation on this trip, but some of the other trips uh, we should be able to. But now that we're going to discover I think we're going to Montrose. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. Hopefully now we're, we'll be able to get a little more jobs in Colorado. Between that city and uh, maybe Denver. I don't know. There should be a lot. Grand Junction discovered. Okay, there we go. We discovered another one on the way. This is, uh, this is cool. We do have to take this exit, and if you look on the map, it looks like we're going to be driving by the Ford dealership. 
Which is kind of uh, ironic because I am actually carrying four trucks <laughs> to the Volvo dealership. It's a little bit backwards. But I feel like this game just uh, maybe it, like randomizes. Yeah, there, there, there's those trucks there that we're carrying. But I feel like, yeah, the game just kind of randomizes a bunch of stuff. Like we were doing Kenworth truck delivery in the Peterbilt. And uh, a lot of you guys thought it was weird too. But that was just one of those quick jobs that we took. So, yeah, it wasn't like I pulled up <laughs> at a Kenworth dealership with my Peterbilt truck. So, yeah, this game kind of randomizes quick jobs, I feel like, and some of them don't really make much sense. We're gonna go through yellow or red. Ah! Oh, we actually did not get a citation. I feel like we entered the intersection, prime truck. We entered the intersection um, on yellow, I think. That was a long yellow too. I was I was surprised. I thought it was I, I thought I was gonna get a ticket. Didn't happen. All right, thirty six more minutes to go. Yeah, this is this is cool. This is Grand Junction still. Come on, here we go. Everybody looks like lightning fast compared to my car. Oh, we got a Super STI. That's nice. What's that? A Tesla? I like looking at cars that are driving around. Ooh, this is a pretty town. Very nice. We got fast food right over there. It's got to be like the main street or something. What? Vehicle crash offense? What are you talking about? There's not even a single vehicle nearby. Oh my gosh, man. I got screwed up with all of these gears here. <laughs> all right. Yeah, when you flip your steering wheel upside down, the controls become a little backwards and uh, not as straightforward to operate. But this is cool. Yeah, I have no idea what I just hit over there. This is the Colorado River? This is cool. Maybe I hit... No, I was... I wasn't even that close to the guardrail or the cement barrier over there on the side. Yeah, I just, I have no idea. I feel like that's happened to me before where I got a crash citation when I didn't actually crash into anything. So this isn't like the first, ooh, we have a biker's bar. Nice. <laughs> this horn is so wimpy. Oh, look at that! We got a Wrangler without the doors. Took the doors off and the top down. This is cool! You also get to see, like, modified vehicles in the game. That is really cool. Alright, guys. We are about 17 minutes away. That means we are really close. We're gonna hope and pray for an easy parking job. Uh, we'll take it from there. There's also a Tesla dealership over there, it looks like. Huh. Oh, dude, we have a cop behind me. I'm gonna get a citation. Yep. Yep! They called this one. $400. Okay. Thank you, officer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The speed limit changed from 65 to 55, and I instantly 
Got a citation. <laughs> what are you gonna do, you know? All right. I think we need to take this, right? Rice Krispies! We're, oh, dude. Okay, all right, what is going on? Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna witness an accident here. I think we're gonna be good to go. I think we're good, yeah. This is a sharp right. Alright, that was a fun road trip. Where we discovered quite a bit. Alright, let me actually... I need to take this one wide. Woo! Crazy downshift, Eggie. Alright, we're in here. Alright, where do we... Wow. Is this a Volvo dealership? This is a Ford dealership. Then why am I working for Volvo? I'm so confused. That was when I accepted the job, it was Volvo. Now it's telling me it's Ford. Where's this guy going? This is not a highway. I like flying. All right. I think I need to park this thing around the building. That's what I'm thinking. Yep, I need to back it up over here. Alright. Let's do this. This actually should not be too, too bad. But that explains it. Okay. But you guys saw I left the Volvo dealership. If you guys go back to the beginning of the video, it was, it was definitely Volvo. But, I don't know. Alright! Wish me luck. I don't think we're gonna be able to park this thing first try. It's just not possible. But, who knows? They always pick out like the worst spots for for us. It's like they're trying to like think of clever ways to like screw us, you know? Actually, this was not bad for the very first try. <laughs> Alright, watch out. Don't hit the building, Yugi. This might only take us a couple of tries. It's not bad for the first time. In here. Alright, let's back it up. Perfectly straight now. All the way down. Wow, this parking job is almost going to be perfect. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Alright. It's been fun, guys. I'm going to end today's episode right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Also, don't forget to suggest in the comment section down below what truck I should buy. I'm kind of leaning towards Peterbilt, either 389 or 589. I'm not quite sure. We're going to take a look at the pricing and we're going to modify it. Um, Yeah, we're going to do that next time. So, yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.